Hello everyone, my name is Ice9Ghost, and I am showing you my game collection. This game collection actually has been with me for a long time, and I've been growing it. I thought that since I have an Ice's Gaming Vault channel, which if you don't know, I make walkthrough videos for my games, and I like to play them, and I figured I could start doing walkthroughs on them so that way people can see and enjoy the game just like I do. Now I have a bunch of games, granted I don't have every game, matter of fact I don't have a lot of games, but I wanted to see the overall price value of how much I've spent on my games. I'll do a separate video for the digital versions that I do have on my consoles such as PS3 and PS4, but as far as that goes, I just wanted to show you how everything looked. If you're wondering what this is, this is my microphone. This is the stand that goes to it, and it'd be a lot easier to talk into this since my computer camera sucks. Or my computer microphone sucks, sorry. So I am actually going to screw this on at the bottom real quick. And you are going to sit right there in front of me might sound a tiny bit different, but that's okay. Okay, point that up and towards me. Okay, so we're gonna start with the PS4 games, PS3, 2, 1, and so on. Now, we're gonna start with this little chunk right here. Okay. So the first game that we're going to start with, just so you can see, I have my games on a little box. So, not all of them, but a lot of them. First game is Wreckfest. I really enjoyed this game. This game has a lot of fond memories for me. It was made like four or five years ago. It, it's a fun, fun game. It's already on my channel to be at, to be, I don't even know what the right wording is. To be, it's on my channel. Okay. The next one is Doom Eternal. This game is really freaking dope. It ha it's really badass. Oh, and as I continue, I'm going to keep the price updated in this corner over here. And I'm going to have it continuously updating right below that as well. I just want to let y'all know because I just didn't say it already. Next one is Bulletstorm. I actually bought this one used. You can see there's a little perforation in the bottom. Um, but it's it's a good game. I actually never beat it, so I might actually make a video on that because I love shooter games. Next is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. It's a fun game. I never actually beat that either. Borderlands 3. Yes, I do have Borderlands 1 and 2 on the digital. I have the Handsome Collection, I believe. So, WWE 2018. I like this one as well. I'm not really a big sports guy, but I do have some sports games. Sackboy, a big adventure. It's a new game. I actually bought that with um some certain PS moves or PS things. Next one is Outer Worlds. I got this one on clearance from Walmart. It's a pretty good open world game, but I've only played a few hours of it. I didn't really sink my teeth in too much into it. We're going to move over to this pile over here, and we're going to start with Uncharted 4. A very amazing game. Don't skip out on it. Tony Stewart's All-American Racing and Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. The two-game bundle that I got from, from Walmart for like $12. I would get it, and it's fun. I actually am trying to play the Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing right now because I really I actually like games like that. But the storyline's kind of thrown me off, so I'm not sure how soon it'll be done. Next we have Doom, the 2016 version. It's a very good game. Very awesome. Alright. Next we have Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And no, I am not reading it from the reflection of the camera. I'm actually reading it straight from my memory. And because I can see part of the name sometimes. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I remember this. This game was fun. I actually got that from a friend 
Far Cry 4. It's one of the Far Cries that I actually played a lot and did a lot with. I made it a modded save at one point for it as well. Evolve. I remember this game being purely online, but I'm not sure if it has a single player. I can't really tell at the moment, but this game is a very competitive game. I think it's like monsters and you're, you're pretty much a monster or you're the hunter hunting down the monster. Flat Out 4, Total Insanity. I like this because of the big mini games. I don't really like the storyline too much. I mean, all it was was just racing, but it's like racing with a whole bunch of destruction derby elements in it and just total chaos. It's fun. Dead Rising 2. This is a good game. This game had a lot of open world ability and you could do just about whatever you wanted in it as long as you had enough resources. You were pretty much Chuck. I think his name's Chuck. Yeah, Chuck Green. You're Chuck Green just mowing people down everywhere you go. Mowing zombies down. Another sports game, Madden 16. This is actually one of the first ones that I bought. Um, Need for Speed. I think this is one of the first ones that they put on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4. And, yeah, I just did Need for Speed Heat, and I'm going to upload that soon. There's Cyberpunk 2077. This game is actually jam-packed full of really cool things, or really cool Easter eggs. It's very glitchy, and a lot of people don't like it. I actually got a version of it from a friend that has an HBO thing some little cardboard cutouts of photographs as if you're getting postals a world cup and endem and a map i would open the map but last time i opened that map it took me forever to freaking close it and i just don't feel like going through that mess right now okay next is marvel avengers this game is really cool and really fun it has that open world element to it that you can just do whatever you want and yes obviously you follow the storyline but like you can pretty much go anywhere and do just about anything that you want to do within the marvel theme it's kind of hard to explain considering i haven't played through the whole game yet Watch Dogs. a lot of people think this game is really really good the way it's structured in the open world elements of it is it was kind of hard for me to grasp at first, but once I got my hands on it, I beat it one time, and I just got to redo it. Once I, once I beat it again, I'll probably be comfortable playing a video of it. Okay, we're going to start with this little chunk of games right here. Okay, so first one is Just Dance 2016. This is fun. We actually had to use our phones to uh, control the game and look at things and play with the motion and stuff. Batman Arkham Knight. That was a fun game as well. Very open world. Open world fun game where you can drive vehicles as the Batman and stuff. So this is MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. This is actually a nice game. Has a lot of really cool races in it. It's just a derby race. Racer. Yeah, I liked it. it, it it's... I never really appealed to those kind of racing games, but I mean, I gave them shots. So, there, here's God of War of the 2018, I think it is. I need to make a video on this as well. Everybody loved this. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Another great game. I probably won't ever give that up. It's a classic. MLB The Show, 16. Another sports game. And right after that, Madden 18. Another sports game. I don't, I, I don't know why I bought these. They were cheap, I guess, and that, that just appealed to me. And there's some other PS4 games, but I'm going to get to those last. There's this chunk right here. Okay. Gran Turismo Sport. The Real Driving Simulator. It's a fun game. Very, very challenging. Spider-Man. Everyone loves Spider-Man. Everyone. Garfield Kart, Furious Racing, another game that I bought on a whim that was really cheap. Well, this isn't actually cheap. It's 17 bucks or $17.99. But I still bought it. I liked it. Batman 3, Goth Beyond Gotham. This is really fun. Uh, it's a Lego game. I always love Lego games. I think I have almost all of them except for like two. 
no, probably like two or three, but Tomb Raider, the 20th year edition, 20th year celebration. So yeah, it actually has this little hard book feeling cover to it, and in it is there's a little there's a little booklet that you can see, and it's a lot of pictures and stuff. It's Laura Croft and the numerous Laura Crofts in that little lobby, or the um, diner, the game obviously. Yeah, I liked it. I actually got really close to beating it, I just never continued. Lego movie, the video game number two. I do have the first game somewhere, I just don't know where it is. But I did make a video on this. Okay, so it's the last two PS4 games, I almost said three. And um, yeah, we're going to start with a simple one, Just Cause 3. I actually, I actually borrowed this from Redbox, and I had paid it off completely because I forgot to return it, and so I spent $80 on a $20 game. So don't forget to return your stuff to Redbox. <laughs> Carnival Games. This is another game on PS4 that I enjoyed. It's kind of like just um, a whole bunch of mini games in one. You gotta get used to the way that it works because it's not it's just just strange okay so that is the ps4 games oh and the reason this is in a little cover thing and not in a case is because i don't have the game case for it anymore the game case got broken. i just bumped the microphone okay so we're gonna go move on to ps3 games plus the one in a cover we'll start with the one on the cover because i pretty much just showed y'all call of duty black ops 2 this game was a phenomenal game when it released. I bet you if I log on to it now, there's probably some people playing it. This game was top of the line. Everyone loved it. Okay. So, Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2011 with PlayStation Move. If you need PlayStation Move, I have the controller, but I don't have the camera. So I can't actually play this. And apparently there's another little joystick thing that you need control in your hand the little the move stick and then the joystick thing yeah put these over here so GTA 5 on PS3 this is the only physical copy that I have of GTA 5 it's actually not that hard to get your hands on anymore it's probably you can probably go up to GameStop right now and get one because there's like a trillion copies of it Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 you can't see the three because of the smudge. I bought this from Game Exchange. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. But it's still a pretty badass game. Next is Battlefield Bad Company 2. I almost said Call of Duty <laughs> again. I bought this for $5 at Game Exchange. If you don't know, Game Exchange is a retro game store that you can buy video games from and consoles. That's how I got the PS1 and, and the Wii. PS2 I bought on Facebook Market. This other one is uh, Medieval Moves, Dreadman's Quest, Deadman's Quest. Yeah, Deadman's Quest, okay. And it requires the camera and the controller only, so if I actually get the camera, then I can play that one. This one is the PS3 version called Wonderbook, Book of Spells, and it requires the PS Move as well. This is Red Dead Redemption, the Game of the Year edition. It has Red Dead and Undead Nightmare in it. Just number, just number one. Red Dead one. If you, if you didn't know what I mean. Final Fantasy thirteen. I have not played this at all. Like I haven't even touched it. But everyone says it's an amazing game and it'll suck up a lot of your time. So I probably will at one point. I've never been a big Final Fantasy fan, but to each their own, you know. So, next we're going to move on to the PS2 games. So, here we are. This one is Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. I have not played it all the way through, although it's a very linear level-by-level -level game. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, everyone's favorite. One of my personal favorites of, like, all time. 
I have the deluxe edition, I have the definitive edition, I have the HD classic, and I have that one and the PS3 one. So I own this game in four different ways. This is, I wonder what you think it is. Well, this is Scooby-Doo 100 Nights of Fright on PS2. This game is Gran Turismo 4, the real driving simulator. And it is right there. Freaking dope. This is not mine, and neither is the next one, but these are games that I plan to play at some point, and they are really good. First one is The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Just so you know that I have the disc. And then, this one is Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. For PS2. Kind of looks like a 5 backwards on the camera. Okay. Oh yeah, two more. Sorry, forgot. One is Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy for the PS2. And the other is Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2. That is all of the PS2 games. We have PS1 and um, the Switch, plus one more surprise console list of games that I want to show you. So the next one is going to be the PS1, because we're just going to knock it out. We have Medieval. It's a very fun game. I like it. I never actually played it all the way through, even though I have the copy. It's a broken disc version. Not broken disc, broken case. The game works. But the case is all messed up. This is Final Fantasy Anthology. If you don't know, Final Fantasy Anthology, the collector's package actually, has the music from the Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI video games. And here's Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI. So, if there's that. It is actually a really good thing to have, and I do plan to play them one day. Now, the other ones. You can probably see what it is already. Animal Crossing, New Horizons. I have two copies of it because one is mine and the other is my wife's. But, just to show you that I do own the game, it is right here. Her copy is in her Switch. And my Switch is over there. Well, on the second shelf, but whatever. Okay. Now time for the last surprise console. Or game console, this thing. We're gonna do this like this. You already know what this is. And to anyone wondering why is the top game look really white, it's because it's not an official cover, I just put something there so I knew what game I was playing. And that would be The Sims 3. Just so y'all see it, it's there, I own the game. I like this game a lot. We have Lego Lord of the Rings. I actually have not played this one in a long, long time, so I cannot say how I remember, but if I remember LEGO games, I remember I like them. As far as the last Carnival games that we talked about on PlayStation 4, right here, goes, I do like this game. I like the golfing in it. It is, I mean, it's not like Wii Sports Golf or nothing, but it's, it's, pretty, damn, it's pretty damn fun. This is Just Dance 2. It's another game case that does not have an official cover art on it. There you go. But, as you can see, the store, Game Exchange. So, and we have Just Dance, the original. I think this is the greatest hits. Like, I thought it said that on there, not, not being a greatest hits from, like, PlayStation. But, there's Just Dance. This is Game Party. I don't remember how much I like this. I think it was okay. You just have to learn the little finickiness of the... Wii motion controls and how everything plays. Next is Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. This game is actually quite fun if you're playing it with more than one person, but it's like the other game, the Game Party game. It's just, you just gotta be, get used to it over time. Wipeout, same thing. It's another party game that you have to get used to. It has up to support for four people though, which is really cool. I mean, most of these do, but 
just playing Wipeout and knocking your friends off crap with with four people is pretty fun. It's Wipeout Create and Crash, so you can actually create your own course. All new course creator. So that's one of the key highlights, I think, of that game. This is Wii Sports, and yes, I do own it. I just don't have a case for it. Or, if I remember, I think the case is like a small little box-like sleeve. There's not a real case case. This is the one I was thinking of. Just Dance Greatest Hits. See, I remember there was one that said that it was Greatest Hits. And the other one down there isn't Greatest Hits, but it is. It, it, basically, this is, this is Just Dance 1 and 2 together. Okay, we have Just Dance 4. The disc is in the Wii itself. And we have, finally, Game Party 2. That is all of the games. I don't remember how much fun this was, but I think it was the same situation as Game Party 1. You just gotta get used to it. It's another party game. So, as you can see, that's all of my games that I have that are discs. That are discs. Or cartridges or whatever. I don't have any old, old consoles like Atari or N64 or SNES or any of that stuff, but I do have just about, except for the five, consoles. PlayStation consoles. I have PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Vita, Wii, and I think, and the Switch. So I have seven different game consoles. So I don't have any Xbox things. I've never been an Xbox person. But if you have any questions, you can find me on Discord. My name is Ice9 underscore Ghost. It'll just probably say Ice on it. Uh, the Discord's right there. If you haven't noticed, it's been there the whole video. It is, you know, in white, so it's kind of hard to see. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. But that's all I have for y'all. Um, and the final price is somewhere over here. I hope y'all enjoyed it.